snug as a pug in a rug. Tubers, uh, another one of the more traditional uses for this knife is uh, ferrosium rod striking. And this is one of those $1.99 ones from Harbor Freight. Let's see how it does. Yeah, I need to say it. Throws strike better than the thing that came with it. So, more tests to come. Thank you. Hi there. This is Pepper Pug. And we're going to do a couple more tests on the Mora Eldris knife. And we're going to open a muscle with it and feather stick and try to baton some wood with it and see how well it does. Let's keep going. This is a piece of jewelry that my Aunt Pat got me. And it comes with a muscle. And that is what I'm going to try to open with the Eldris. And it should go pretty well. There it is. It's in a can. There we go. And it says what kind of peril means what. And we're going to go ahead and... Pour the muscle water out. And muscle water has a weird smell to it. You really did. Okay. Open a can of muscle. All right. Let's see if it says any instructions on the can. Uh, muscle is closed. Oh, I gotta cut open the muscle. Well, let's see how well that'll do. Yeah, it looks like there's some soft bits right there. Huh? There we go. Crack open the muscle. Okay. Oh, see if we can pry it open. Not quite yet. Okay. So we're going to use the tip here. Looks like we might be able to. Alrighty. It opened it. And there's my pearl in that muscle. And it was opened with my Mora Eldris. So I go put pearl in the necklace. There. Using a napkin. <laughs> Wipe my hands. And white pearl. And okay, so I'm gonna have to take it off the chain here. And it just opens. I'm gonna go put pearl in there. Yeah, 
and the uh, elders opened up a muscle that was soaked in alcohol for a while. Okay, there's my documentation on that. And that goes into treasure box. Where that's gonna go in the garbage can. I'll go wipe off my blade. And we're gonna try to do some feather sticking. This is my mulberry tree. People have used the spines. Well, it looks kind of feather sticky. <laughs> Let's see if it batons small sticks. So this is also from the mulberry tree. Hmm. I'll lift that up a bit. Okay. This is also from the mulberry tree. Put that right there. and not make quite so much noise. Not exactly ideal. I mean, it would do it, but it would probably have to be a little bit smaller than these. So, that is my tests for today. So far, I think that if I had small enough stick, maybe about this size, it would probably go through faster. Let's try this stick, by the way. I think you get the idea that small enough sticks, it'll baton. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in to Prepper Pug. If you like my video, please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.